Hi, welcome to TechP channel. On this channel, we're going to be talking about computer tips and tricks, and we have some tutorials about useful softwares and websites. So if you like these types of videos, don't forget to subscribe. And today, I'm going to show you how we can install Windows 11 on a supported computer or hardware using a USB flash drive as fast as we can. To install Windows 11, we need Rufu software, we need a USB flash drive at least 8 gigabytes, and we need Windows 11 ISO file or image file. First you have to find out can you install Windows 11 on your PC or not. So you can use PCL's check. PCL's check is a kind of software you can use it to find that. I'm gonna put the link of PCL check below in this video and after installing you can click on check now and as you can see this PC must support secure boot and the processor isn't currently supported for Windows 11. So I'm gonna install Windows 11 on this PC. So First, we need Rufus. We have to download Rufus. We have to go to rufus.ie. And here we have to download portable version of Rufus. This one. I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to download it. And also, I have to download Windows 11 ISO file. I just need to write Windows 11 download and then here Microsoft.com this is the website of that so I'm gonna open it and here here is the ISO file of Windows 11 so I'm gonna select Windows 11 multi edition ISO and I'm gonna click on download so select the product language I want English International and I'm going to click on confirm and then I want 64-bit download and I'm going to click on this and here I'm downloading Windows 11 ISO file okay after downloading we have Rufus software and Windows 11 ISO file so first I have to open Rufus and this is a portal version so you don't really need to install it and I have to plug my USB flash drive into my computer and also I have to select this ISO file so I'm gonna click on select on desktop I have this ISO file and I'm gonna select it and here if you have a unsupported hardware you have to click on this and choose extended windows 11 installation no tpm no secure boot you have to click on this and click on start and this is a warning this software is going to delete all you have in your USB flash drive so yes we want to format it we don't have data in our USB flash drive so I'm going to click on OK after a while our USB flash drive is ready to install Windows 11 and we have to restart our computer and press boot menu key and select USB flash drive but before that we have to find out what is our computer boot menu key if you want to know that you have to go to Google and just search for your computer for instance I have Asus laptop so I have to search boot menu key for Asus laptop and you will find out F8 or 
another key is your boot menu key and if you don't find it for your laptop or for your PC you can use this photo one of these keys is your boot menu key for your computer and you can test all of them to find it and now I have to restart my computer after restarting you have to press your boot menu key mine is F12 and here is boot menu and after that you have to find USB hard drive if your computer can support UEFI you have to use UEFI if cannot you have to use this one but my computer can support it so I'm gonna press enter on UEFI USB USB hard drive and after a while you can see Windows 11 setup okay this is language time and currency format and keyboard or input method so I want just English I'm gonna click on next and I'm going to click on install now and now I have to active my windows I don't have product key for now and here you have to choose the type of windows you want I want Windows 11 Pro I'm going to click on next Windows 11 Pro is, is a really good version for everybody And here I have to accept and click on next and here I have to click on custom and as you can see I have multiple drives but you have to find that drive is for Windows for instance I installed Windows on this one so you just need to format this drive you don't really need to format other drives you just need to format this one and you have to format it and click on this one for me this drive is partition 3 but maybe it's different in your computer mine is partition 3 you have to click on partition 3 and click on next and our installation is starting and after a while and multiple restarting you can see Windows 11 is ready so you have to choose your country and your keyboard and there you go this is Windows 11